Xfinity Home. Connected. Protected. Home. This is BBC World News America. Funding of this presentation is made possible by the Freeman Foundation, Kovler Foundation, pursuing solutions for America's neglected needs, and Pierpoint Financial. How do we shape our tomorrow? It starts with a vision. We see its ideal form in our minds, and then we begin to chisel. We strip away everything that stands in the way to reveal new possibilities. At Pure Point Financial, we've designed our modern approach to banking around you. Your plans, your goals, your dreams, your tomorrow is now. Pure Point Financial. And now, BBC World News. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh. They deserve. You're watching BBC Wild News America. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh has been testifying about charges made earlier today by Christine Blasey Ford that he sexually assaulted her in high school. He's been vehemently denying the accusation, and we could rejoin the hearing now in progress. Judge Kavanaugh has been a federal judge for 12 years, and he's been a great federal judge on the second highest court in the nation. He's earned a reputation for fairness and decency. His clerks love him. His students, he teaches in law school as well, his students love him. His colleagues love him. This man is not a monster, nor is he what has been represented here in these hearings. We're talking today about Judge Kavanaugh's conduct in high school, and even then, and as a freshman in college, I guess, as well. Serious allegations have been raised. If Judge Kavanaugh committed sexual assault, he should not serve on the Supreme Court. I think we'd all agree with that. But the circus atmosphere that has been created since my Democratic colleagues first leaked Dr. Ford's allegations to the media two weeks ago, after sitting on them for six weeks, I might add, has brought us the worst in our politics. It certainly has brought us no closer to the truth. Anonymous letters with no name and no return address are now being treated as national news. Porn star lawyers with facially implausible claims are driving the news cycle. I hate to say this, but this is worse than Robert